Yeah, good day. This is Chibuza Angova, and once again, you're welcome to Blog InfoTech channel. I'm sure at this moment, many of you will be surprised why I'm actually using a mobile phone or why I'm actually shooting this tutorial video from a mobile phone. But um, it's a new topic entirely that is related to mobile, and that's the more reason why. So particularly in this video, I'm going to show you how to block and unblock any number from as in from calling or sending you an SMS from your Infinix smartphone. Yeah, your Infinix smartphone, yeah. Particularly, I'm going to use an Infinix Hot 4 Lite, which is the phone I use. I'm going to use it to shoot this tutorial video, and let's see how it goes. But probably, it might work with um, any recent Infinix phone. That is, let me say, the one that is operating on Android M, that is from Marshmallow upwards down to, let me say, Android Pi, if actually there's an Infinix smartphone that is running on that. So, we shall be looking how you can easily block and unblock any numbers from calling you. You know, in my post, in my blog post, if you should check my blog, I recently wrote about the best caller, uh, call and SMS blocker apps which you can install on your phone. But one good thing if you are uh, using an Infinix smartphone is that you don't necessarily need to install an external app. Yeah, yeah. There is actually an app that came with your phone which you can use to perform these tasks, that is to block numbers and also to unblock numbers. And that's the more reason why I want to show you how to do this. Well, I came across a problem, let me say, a few weeks back, of which I just tried to block numbers. So I just want to block a particular number from spamming me, yeah, from calling me. So I was like, oh, how can I achieve this? It was then I now discovered that there's a particular app or feature that came with most in Phoenix smartphone, let me say in Phoenix Hot 4 Lite, which I'm using. And that app can easily give you the access. You can easily just block numbers. And that is it without installing any external app, just like True Callers or the one I wrote about in my blog post. Well, so like I said, in this post or in this video, sorry, I'm going to show you how to block and unblock SMSs and calls from spammy numbers just switch your Infinix out for light. So let's go. Now the first thing you do now, this is my home screen, this is my home screen. You have to go to your app menu. You can do that just by just swiping upwards. Yes, that's the default process, just swiping upwards. Or there is a, just swipe upwards and this is your app menu. Yeah, now this is my app menu. Now what you'll do, you know they are in alphabetical orders. If you could see from the extreme left corner by the side, you see that they are in A, B, C, Z. Now you have to scroll down to X because we're actually looking for the X manager. That is the app that you can use to do so many things which are in Phoenix phones, but you are yet to be aware of it. So this is the X manager, we are in X. Okay, let me scroll it to, okay, you can go further than this. Now if you should see WX, now the X manager is at the extreme right corner with something like a rocket sailing upwards. So this is my X-Manager. You have to just click on the app. And this is it. This is the particular app that you can use to achieve that purpose without installing true colors or the rest. So now let's go. We can do a lot of things actually, but what we are looking for in this video is how to actually block and unblock numbers. So let's go. We'll do practical tests and we'll see if it works. So now let's go. You can see from the bottom, there's this portion that have white, the white portion from the bottom. You see there are so many apps. There's so many apps below. You have the mobile cleanup, the app manager, the app lock, the bandwidth manager, the harassment block, and the auto start manager. So out of all the six apps below, we shall be making use of just one, which is harassment block. You can see just like a sheet, a shield with um, red and white stripes, yes. That is the app on the second row, in the middle of the second row. So you just tap on it, harassment block. Yes, this is the app. I mean, this is the portion. Now, what you will do, you see, you see, you have SMS, you have phone, you have blacklist. Phone, SMS, phone, blacklist. Now, from the blacklist menu, you can see there is no numbers, actually. I have not added any number. I have not blacklisted any number. So now... You have to add a blacklist, which means you have to add a number you want to block. I think you want to block that number from receiving a call or SMS is from that number. That is, the number is just spam. You don't want disturbance from any number. So now what you do, you look below. You see delete all, 
that's the bottom of this screen you see delete all and left and you also see add blacklist so now once you do you just click add blacklist after clicking on it you see that the pop-up um, dialog box just came up add blacklist are you trying to add from your call log are you trying to add from your sms log or from your contacts or manual input so in this video we shall actually going to use manual input so that let's see how it works though you have various number on your call log but you just want to fish out this particular number so you just choose manual inputs now this is it this is the phone number this is a portion so now what i'll do i'm going to test my second line i'm going to test my tisalat line yeah is on another phone so that will make it more easier for me to still call with the phone while we are still working or shooting this video so now let's go my SSL number let me impute it that is it yeah that's my SSL number so what you just do you can see from the button you can easily choose you want to block all and sms from this block sms from this number or you just want to block call if you just want to block calls you can just switch off the block sms tab a button so that is it but i want to block both so i switch it but if you just want to block just the number from getting in touch with you through calls but you want to receive sms from the number you just deactivate the block calls from this number tab so that is it so i'm done i click ok So I've added the number. You can add a note if you wish. Maybe to just recall easily recall the number that you've blocked. But for this video, for this test, I'm just leaving the notes blank. So now that is that. I now click on what. Let me confirm the number if it's correct once more. Okay, yeah, it is. So now just click on what add. As you can see, now this is the harassment block feature or portion that you click earlier on. So you can see the number is now displaying. Tick. You can see I take the number, I blocked it from phone calls and also from receiving what? SMSs. So now that is that. You know what we're going to do? We are going to put it into practice. So let me go back to my home screen. Let me just go back to my home screen. So now I've blocked that number, my salad line from another phone. So now let me try to call my number on this phone with that blocked number and let's see if it will work. I'm trying to dial from another phone. So that is that. Okay, that's my phone. I've, I'm entering my number actually. I just did that. So now I want you patiently to look, just concentrate on this screen. You notice that while I dial the number, a, 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 a mini prompt will just appear at the top right corner of, I mean, yeah, at the top corner of this screen of mine. Let's see. Let me see. I'm dialing the number. Let's see if it works that way. I'm calling my number on this phone. Just concentrate and watch. Let's see. I'm still trying to call the number. It seems the network is kind of busy. Okay, I know what I did. Let me... I actually place this on an airplane mode so that I won't be able to receive call while shooting this video. So I just unlocked the airplane mode. So now let's see. The network is just trying to boot. The network is coming up actually. You know, I, I actually did that to avoid interference while shooting this video. So now the network is up. So now let me try. Just concentrate, just like I said from the beginning. Watch the top hand corner. So I'm dialing my number again. He's ringing on this phone. You could see. Damn. Okay, I actually dialed the number. I'm coming. Let's go back to our menu. Let's go back to our ex manager. Since I entered a wrong number, nice. So, yeah, that's the problem. I entered the wrong number. The number is incorrect. So let's delete and go back. Add blacklist, manual inputs. So let me enter the number seven seven nine. I need seven seven nine seven eight two. Yeah, yeah, that's the number. So okay. Add. 
actually I skipped seven there's one seven I missed initially so that's the reason why it's wrong you could see the number was not entered properly so the 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 number actually connected with this phone so now let me try again after inputting it properly let's see I want to ensure that it works so that you actually believe I'm dialing the number once again you could see you could see I die from the other phone. I'm actually receiving a, a prompt or a notification that the customer you're trying to call is busy. But if you could notice at the top right corner, they, 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 they said the call appeared briefly. It just skipped off, and which means that even if a number you blocked actually tried to call you, you actually received a notification from that number, but it won't ring on your phone. And what it happens to the caller from the other number, from the number you just blocked. The, he or she will receive a prompt that your number is what busy. So the person they actually believe that oh he actually busy and that's the more reason why you don't want to pick his or her call. But without him or her knowing that you have blacklisted his number, his or her number from calling or reaching you. So let me try it again. Notice notice this time around the top of this display. I'm dialing the number or my number from another phone. Just watch. Just watch. Just see, it is a lot. You can see it appears and just goes up. That is the name. That's my it is a lot line I stole from. That's the number actually blocked. It's been stored as what it is a lot. So you could see that's the easiest way you could. I think just have to automatically block your number from getting in touch with you. Why? Because maybe that person have been disturbing you, or maybe it's an unwanted friend. Yes, a spam call. So that is a now I've blocked the number. You've seen how you can easily block numbers with what the x manager so now let's go back to the x manager x now i've blocked this number now i want to unblock the same number maybe you actually block the number for a particular period let's say a day you don't want to receive call from such a person you just want the person to believe that you are not around or maybe you're in an area where there is no strong network coverage now the day is gone you just want to get back to the person you want the person to get back asking to get in touch with you through call or XMS. So now I've gone back to my ex-manager and I'll still, I'll still go back to the harassment and block. That is the shield with the red and white stripe. You click on it. Now you can see, you now go back to blacklist. You can see in the blacklist section, it is a lot. That's the name of the, I mean, that's in the, the number I blocked, the second number of mine, my salad line, the number is there. So now, okay, you want this person to get back to you. What you just do, you just see this X. There's an X by the side of the number on the blacklist, and I will just click on it. Then the prompt will now come and delete this blacklist. You just see yes. You can see the, the number is off. The number is gone. So now let's test if the number is actually unblocked. That means if this number can actually get to you on this line. So now let me go back to my home screen. Let me go back to my home screen. And let me call. I'm trying to call the same number with my other phone. And let's see how it goes. I'm calling the number now. In a matter of minutes, it will start ringing. That is this. You can see that the ring is continuous. Even while we are shooting this video, you can notice. So now let me end it. The number is I can easily pick the call or read and just buy the call. So that is that. You can see how easy it is to block and unblock an unwanted number from getting in touch to you just with your Infinix Hot 4 Lite smartphone. You don't need any extra app like the True Color app or other app or I mean other SMS or call blocker app. You just you can easily do that with what your Infinix X Manager that came in view with your phone. There are so many other things you can actually do with this X manager, but with this video, or in this video, I'm actually touching the part of how to unblock or block um, unwanted calls, yeah, from spammy number. You can see how easy it is. So you can try it with your, if you are making use of Infinix Hot Phone like smartphone, or let's say Hot 4, I'm sure the X manager will be there. But I believe in all new Infinix, Infinix Six moon smartphone right from let me say marshmallow down to nugget to Oreo upwards. I'm sure the X manager will be there. So that is how and that is the end of the video. And it have revealed to you how you can easily
block or unblock unwanted calls or SMS from an unwanted number. So that is the more reason why I actually use my phone to shoot this video. So I guess you've known the gig. So that is that. I would like you before you leave, you can easily subscribe to this channel because I'll be bringing more and more tutorial video from the techie side of the world. Yeah, that makes life easy. So before you leave, just hit the subscribe button and always stay glued to this channel, blog info tech. Yeah, you can easily check the link. Maybe I don't really know if you really want to get the um, the diagrammatic view how we can do this. I actually did a blog post on my blog, which is bloginfotech.com. So the, in the description of this video, you see a link to that blog page where you can easily read the step-by-step -step guide and also see the pictorial image. So that is that. Hit the subscribe button. And once again, this is Chibuzo Agor from Blog Infotech channel. Thank you.